Hey guys, so tonight I wanted to share with you my swap that I did for Scrap the World's um, embellishment swap. And she had two different signups. One was the bottle cap and one was the clothespin. Um, I decided to do the clothespin swap and mine is um, you had to do four sets of three clothespins. You had to use either My Mind's Eye, Washi Tape, Recollections, or Prima Paper, and you had to embellish at least one. Um, so I chose to use uh, Washi Tape and Prima Paper for mine. So let me go ahead and share with you what I did. So I'm going to share with you uh, the one I did for the hostess first because she was in my group, who is Tamika, um, like I said, Scrap the World. So I'm going to share with you hers first because hers is a little different. Um, this is hers. And I have hers mounted on a little mini box that she, like a keepsake box, she can store stuff in. Um, you know, it looks like those boxes that you get from Ikea that I have in my room. But uh, I was going to do this for everybody, but, you know, trying to be cautious of shipping um, and tone down some of the stuff that I like to do. Uh, I decided not to, so uh, Tamika's is the only one that has it mounted on the little box. Um, I use, my base is the Tim Holtz uh, pocket watch die that I got in, and yeah, you guys gonna, you know, my nail polish. <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, the base is the Tim Holtz pocket watch die, and I used some modeling paste on two of these, I believe. I think only two have the modeling paste. So you can kind of see it here peeking through. Let's see. I'm just going to kind of go over what I use on all these uh, so you know. For the paper, the background of each um, pocket watch, I use the London Market um, paper collection. So I use that and you'll be able to see I use this paper here, this paper here. I use the map and I believe I use this one. It was either this one or this one. Not sure which one it was, but those are the four papers that I use. The actual base of Tamika's box, I use Die Cuts with a View Butterfly Garden uh, paper stack. It's for her box. And then for one of the clothespins in each person's set, because they're all the same, I use the Prima uh, Fairy Rhymes collection for one of the clothespins. Um, the other two clothespins are done in washi tape, which I will show. I used, let's see, this is a washi tape holder from um, Michael's. Let me just take it apart. But I use this green one here uh, for my washi tape. And then I also used this brown one here that I believe Tamika sent me. Um, so I used that one too. And these uh, stack. It's kind of hard to show it right now, but they just stack on top of each other. If I can get it back in there. So I really like these. I think I'm going to get a couple more. But anyway, there's that. I also use this Spellbinders die here. And it's called Label 7. So I use that. Looks like that on the back. I use this one here, which is called Floral Flourishes. And I use the top one. And I use this one here, which is called Venetian Accents. And I use the mask from this one. So. Now, let's get back to her box. So on the cover of the pocket watch, um, you can see the Venetian mask here, which, man, do I love how this turned out. Um, it is super pretty. I really like that. So I used the Venetian mask here. Uh, in the background, I used the label 7, which is this one. And it made it like a little book. So I shaped it into like a little um, book the focus there we go so you can see that from there it's like a little book and then this flower came from my silhouette um, the inside of this is a little like a little button notion that I have that are in the centers of all the flowers um, on hers I have some recollection flowers um, on hers but on the other ones I used uh, flowers that I got from Wild Orchid Crafts the cherry blossoms 
Um, I have a little bird back here. And I painted the entire um, pocket watch first before I even adhered the paper. So it's painted. Tamika's is actually crackled on the back because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to mount it on this or not, but I decided to do it anyway. And then on the edges, I have a little bit of paint. Uh, there's the little flur you know, flourish that you saw from the Spellbinders die. This is also a little Notions button. I have a um, wood veneer butterfly that I painted as well in the back. And I used folk art parchment um, paint is what it's called. And then I whitewashed all of the leaves and the tips of the flower in the same paint. There's the Martha Stewart butterflies. And I'm sorry if I'm too close. Back here I have a flare that I made myself. Uh, I did it on my computer and it has a dome on it. You can see. And then I added the chain to mimic a pocket watch with a little butterfly charm on it. And it's a pink chain. Really pretty. So I love, love, love how this turned out. I think this was super cute. I had a lot of fun making these. A lot of fun. Focus. Okay, so when you open hers up, these are my um, little pins, little, what do you call these, clothes pins on the inside. And I just have this little pocket that I have it, like a library pocket that I have it on. So each one is the same for everybody's except for it will either have different embellishments um, on the top, but the paper choices are the same. This is where I use the Prima um, Fairy Rhymes collection for this one here and I would I don't I'm not gonna take it off I was gonna take it off but I'm not going to I'm gonna leave it on there um, but yeah this is the Prima Fairy Rhymes paper I have this um, bobbin this, is that what it's called no it's not called a bobbin what is it <laughs> you know what this is <laughs> and the uh, needle that's behind it on hers it's glued on there. I etched everything in vintage photo except for the middle one. Uh, walnut stain actually except for the middle one. I wanted, I like the natural look of the clothespin so kind of left it but this is a, a wood veneer from Studio Calico, the hat symbol and these two are the washi tape. And then for this one I took my sanding block and took off some of the um, the coating on the washi tape to kind of give it a more distressed look. This is the one that you, the washi tape that you sent me, Tamika. And it's done in front and back. They're done on the back too. You can see some of the distressing. So you get that. I think these turned out really, really cute. And then each person will get um, some flares that I created and some uh, crocheted flowers um, varying in colors. So that'll be with each person's stuff. And then each person's little flares are also, um, for the most part, they're different except for like one flare. So this is kind of, this is what those look like. So just different little flare buttons that I made. So I hope you guys enjoy those. This one is the same in everyone's, this one here. And this is from the, um, London Market paper collection. So that's the same in everybody's. Each person got one of those. So let me put that back. And then like I said, Tamika's is the only one that did come in the little box. But um, I hope you guys will like it. And then as for um, on the side, I just have my little tag with the date um, that the swap was supposed to be sent out. Um, scrap the world's clothespin swap, my name, YouTube, and email, and a little image. So, with some jute is what it's hanging from. So there's that. And then, each person's is kind of a little different. They're not exactly the same. This one here um, has a different flare button. And this is different. The bird is different on this one. Uh, the color of the rose is different. The paper, of course, is different. But the concept is pretty much the same. So, I really love how these turned out. And you can see on the back of this one, it's painted. And this is where I adhered the um, clothespins to the back. But they're all the same. 
just different. See this is a different color. Spool. That's what these are. <laughs> it's a spool. <laughs> but anyway, um, so you can see that. And then there's my tag on this one. And Tamika is going to have the fun of picking out who gets what. So I'm not going to uh, label these. Tamika can pick. <laughs> and Tamika, I will have each one of these in um individually wrapped and I'll have it closed with washi tape so you can just open it up if you want to show it on your videos or you just show yours it doesn't matter but um that's that one and then like I said each person has the flares and as you can see they're different except for one so this one's got one of them is Tinkerbell really cute and then this one's white this one here I just love how these turned out. These are gorgeous. I have a clock um, here instead of a bird. You can see the flowers are different. Uh, the flare is like a bird cage. This background paper is the map. The chain. And then there's a little book back there in the background. The mask. Just gorgeous. I love how these turned out. There's the tag. And then uh, there is the crocheted flowers, and I love this one. This is my favorite one. Look at Garfield. He is so cute. He is like dead tired from getting up in the morning. He's got his coffee. If it'll focus. There we go. He's got his coffee. He is playing no games. So I love this one. It's one of my favorites. And I think each person, yeah, has three. So... And then for the last one, <clears throat> this one I used modeling paste on again in a butterfly. And I also used some um, perfect pearls to color the butterfly once I put the modeling paste on there. And it, it's got a really pretty shimmer to it. You can see it. It's really pretty. So here's like a really up close view of everything that's on here. It's just really, really pretty. And then there's a different uh, flare. There's a different, whoops, sorry guys. There we go. There's a different bird. And then this chain. Just gorgeous. And then on the back, there's these stick pins. I mean, stick pins. Wow, I keep wanting to say that. Clothes pins. And then there's stuff. They got a little um, scissors. So they're different. And then. This person has the blue with uh, some different flares in there. And then I didn't show the back of this one. Let me see if this is the one that... Yeah, this one has a sewing machine. And yeah, really cool. I like how that one looks. And then a question mark is on here. So really, really neat. These were fun. I had a lot of fun. Um, making these and doing these and I really do hope the people in my group um, enjoy these and like them so that is my clothes pins for scrap the world swap and I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will get these out in the mail tomorrow and talk to you guys soon bye